Hello there, and welcome to my channel. Look what I got. I just reviewed this product from them. There'll be probably be a link below the video to that. I also reviewed their nuggets. And now, well, this is new. Do you see it? This is new. Now I'm reviewing this product on this video. If you're new to my channel, I do unboxing and food reviews. Food reviews, I normally do them in the car. I haven't been well lately, but I'm going, I'm getting back, I'm back in the game, okay? Um, before I say anything, look below the video. There'll be all kinds of goodies and links to other products and reviews. I also ask that you subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. And if you don't subscribe, you're going to miss out on a lot of awesome reviews that are always blunt. So, <clears throat> I don't like lying on my channel. I did try this the other day in the microwave, and it turned out pretty good. But I'm not going to say anything because right now... I follow the directions. I cooked this darker one in the air fryer and this one I this is air fryer yeah this is air fryer and this is oven okay I didn't put in the microwave we're gonna see it and then if it doesn't taste as good I'll microwave it so on <clears throat> this one you're supposed to cook it either stovetop which I didn't do the oven which I did that one, and then I also put it in the air fryer just, you know, for time consuming. <clears throat> but it recommends, um, well, actually it doesn't recommend anything. It says you can do anything, which is interesting. Because they normally give you instructions and they'll say, but we recommend this. And um, you get, serving size is three meatballs, and serving for container is 3.3. This is what they look like. When they smell before I cook them, I will let you know. Who's calling me? Okay, smelling the frozen, they smell really good. I smell fennel and like spices, like Italian spices. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but just I smell spices. So this was the air fryer. Let me try the oven first. So it's still, it's not too dried out. The air fryer is really dried out and darker. I mean, it doesn't taste burnt, but the light meat browning this, I was actually happy with it in the microwave, believe it or not. And it seemed like it was more moist than the inside. You know, the oven dries it out, but maybe when you put it in tomato sauce, it'll soak up the sauce. I'm really impressed with these. I've tried the Impossible Meatball Nuggets. They taste really close to meat, but they kind of give you that, I don't know, like you ate a bunch of greasy kind of food or whatever. These seem more lighter and full of flavor. It doesn't even seem like you're eating jackfruit. But those not taste like meat. Really close. But nothing like the impossible as far as if you want the authentic meat taste, right? What I do like about this, it's very, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Dense. A lot of flavor. Like a tremendous amount of flavor. But it's not hot. I like this a lot. I just had cheap ragu, so we'll try it with the ragu. Make sure that your tomato sauce is not very acidic. There's a very acidic thing going on here that doesn't, it's not going good with these meatballs. I would think more of a sweeter marinara would go good with this. This is the air fryer, which is really dark. Do not air fry these. I'm putting one in microwave so I can show you and tell you. 
that if you're on a quick time, the microwave is just as good. Let me microwave this and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, it does not take long to microwave this at all. I put it in for about a, a minute and 21 seconds and kept turning it around and rolling it around. And before, like, it's, I would say maybe a whole minute. Just keep turning it, okay? It's pretty hot. Um, no, I don't like cold food. No, I don't like frozen food in the center. But this is already, these are already cooked. Like, I know a lot of people say, like, um, I don't know if it's going to say it on this. A lot of products say, like, cook this to, like, 100 and something degrees. Yeah, well, if it's meat, um, oh, there is a microwave. Uh, cook three meatballs on high for two minutes. So, you can't microwave this. I didn't read that. So, we're going to compare this. I just tried the oven, which is on here, the air fryer, which is not on here, and the stove top, which I did not do. Microwave. It's still hot. Mm -hmm. It's so juicy. You see how dry that is? way better it's moist and it's closer to real meat because it's moist this this could fool a meat eater more easier than putting it with dry heat mm. and for some reason now I'm tasting what I tasted earlier or the other day when I mic'd it because I couldn't wait for the review. For some reason, when it's in the microwave and it's really moist, I think I see a big old piece of fennel. This is gonna sound maybe odd to you. But like real Italian meatballs, there's breadcrumbs, there's meat, there's pork, there's beef, and there's cheese. This tastes like an authentic meatball where they want they weren't cheap with ingredients and just put like beef and uh breadcrumbs no they put beef pork breadcrumbs and cheese i have more flavor than the dry heat that doesn't make any sense i'm not saying that i taste cheese but I, there's so much flavors going on and they're working. And because, like I said, a meatball has a lot of flavors going on. And it all works. You got pork, you got beef, you got cheese, you got breadcrumbs. Mmm. I just bet and show some sort of a spice or herb or something. I'm going to continue to buy these. Let's see how the microwave tastes with that cheap ragu. I normally use better tomato sauce. I'm going to put this on tomato sauce. Make sure your tomato sauce is not really acidic. I think more of a sweeter uh, tomato sauce would be good with this. But they're amazing on like by themselves. I'm going to start buying these more often. And maybe rolling them after they come out of the microwave. Just lightly like rolling them and shaking them. And some vegan Parmesan. Um, What is that brand I use? I just bought it the other day. It's been a while actually. Why did I say it's about? No, it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, wow, that has a lot of flavor. Um, oven method, I give it a low score. Microwave method, which is quicker and easier and it keeps it moist. I want to give it a high score. What should I give it? I don't want to give it a 10. Did I say 10? Did 10 come out of my mouth? I did say I like it. Compared to the Impossible Nuggets, they don't, they don't taste as greasy and... The Impossible tastes like you're eating pork. This tastes really close to meat, but not exactly. But it's close enough, but the Impossible tastes more like meat. But the Impossible is also highly processed, and this 
is made of ingredients that I understand and pronounce jackfruit water, soy flour, coconut oil, canola oil, white onion, spices, natural flavors, breadcrumbs, yeast, garlic powder, onion powder, baker's yeast, melosilviose is a plant fiber, and salt. And I also like the fact that salt is toward the bottom. And they're very savory. That was the other word I was going to tell you. Like these meatballs are like very, very savory. Um, I'm giving these a solid nine. If you microwave, if I microwave them for me, I give them a nine. And yes, I will continue to buy them and I will continue to put them in the microwave because they're more moist. And for some reason they have more flavor. And it's just almost, I can taste all the ingredients cohesively in a meatball, which means that there was cheese in there, even though there wasn't. So that's my review. Please comment, like, subscribe. When you do subscribe, hit the bell icon so you will be alerted when I come out with new content. And uh, as an added bonus, if you subscribe, you can like tell me what foods you want me to try. And don't forget to look below the video because below the video will be all kinds of goodies, like a link to my review on these and another link to the review I did on the, not the tenders, but the nuggets. I always say the word tenders when it's a nugget and nugget when it's a tender. I don't know. I've done this for years. I don't know why I do that because I definitely know the difference. Um, but you may be surprised on what I like better, this or the nuggets, or maybe you won't. So until next time, have an awesome day. I would get into story time, but... <clears throat> Here lately, I've been doing a lot of story times with my mental health, and, um, you know, I can't say my mental health is getting better per se, but I have my good days and bad days, and so some days it's a little bit better, and then some days it's about the same, and then some days it's actually worse, but overall, I think I'm more stable now than I was before, so that's a good thing, so until next time.